Hey everybody, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. Just a short little clip to say, my last video I forgot to include two pictures. So here they are. And then we'll get into the next video. Have a great day. Bye. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talk. Hey, hey everybody, it's Miranda again from Diamond Pain with the Besties. How are you tonight? I have an unboxing right here, something brand new, brand new company to me that is, and I'm gonna have to... Um, give a shout out to my friend Maritza over at Kiss My Crafts, because... Once again, she has been an enabler. In a good way, though, but she's still an enabler. Got me spending money. So I saw one of her videos. Um, and as you know, you know, she's from New York. I am also from New York. But I'm all the way out here in California. So I get homesick pretty easily. And I like to decorate my um, house with... Um, but a lot of New York stuff. So when I saw her do this, I was like, girl, I have to have this. So she told me where to go and everything. And here it is. So this company right here. Oh, and I will link all Maritza, her channel and her IG in the description below. So um, this from here is from Spell Queen. And I've never ordered from Spell Queen before. And they, I, they do have... Very, very good customer service, like from my very first impression, because when I went to go look for this image, um, it was not there at all. So Marissa was kind enough to go ahead and contact them for me. And they said that they would, um, they didn't have it on there anymore, but if I wanted it to um, message them. So I messaged them. They got back to me right away. They told me what to do and they ordered it. And I actually got something else as well now i don't remember and i could not find my email to dig for it but it's probably been about a month since i've ordered it so it took about a month to get here um or something like that because i have forgotten so <laughs> regardless it's here now so let's get into it i did already open up the box because it's got a lot of tape on it so it's kind of um a little different I opened up this way so I just did whatever. So we'll just do like this, right? So I'd ordered two things. Oh my goodness. So get rid of that. Here we have, we have our two items. So let's put those aside right here and look into this. This looks, this is a beefy, beefy toolkit. And I knew they had a special toolkit just from um, watching Maritza's um, video. So let's see what we have in here. Oh goodness. So, wow. Oh my goodness. So first we have branded pink sharp tweezers. These are too cute. Look at that, that pretty pink sharp tweezers. Make sure you put this guard on because these are sharp. Nice. Pink squishy, standard pen, four placer. Look at this big old boat with a spout. You got a big old boat and it's branded. Nice. It's got high sides because I like to shake and my stuff be going all over the place. Then we got this cute little holder. This would be good for like special drills or some ABs. They're all hooked together and there is 12. 12 little uh, areas to put drills or special beads or whatever you want in here. Then we have our little tube of our little you know, container of wax, which is also branded. I don't know if you guys can see that with the glare. And there is, oh my, there is like three, four, some are stuck. There's like four little discs of pink wax. Make sure you peel the, um, the oh, I couldn't even do it. Anyway, there's plastic on these. So make sure you pull that back. They've got them all in this cute little um, holder right here. Then two pens. Look at this. Mermaid tail, special pen. How I open this here. 
Oh, just pop it right off. Right here. That's pretty cool. And then we got this little cute little short fat pen right here. It looks like a regular little um, pen you write with. A little mini pen right here. So that, to me, that's a really nice um, tool kit. There's no baggies in it, but that's okay. I don't... I don't need the baggies. I have tons of baggies. So, and it comes in this really heavy duty um, bag that's branded. And it says, um, Spell Queen unique, unique Art That Sparkles All in One Diamond Painting Tool Bag. So, that's a tool bag. It's not a kit. It is a tool bag. So, right then and there, we got awesome customer service. Number one, bomb ass tool kit. Two. Our paintings. First of all, they come in these. This sack is a, a, a canvas, a canvas case right here that says unique spell queen, unique art that sparkles right here. This one is more of a nylon bag. Says the same thing on here, but still, I mean, it comes in a protective bag. And this canvas one is really, really nice. They're both nice. So I don't know which one is which. So, all right, we'll do this one first. I didn't make up my mind. I was going to straight up ask you guys, and I'm like, they are not going to be able to answer me. So, it's a little bent right here. That's okay, though, because um, it's poor glue. And that was Zeus sneezing, if you guys heard that. Or Levi, one of them sneezing. So, right there is fixed. Poor glue, no problem. But we're gonna, ooh, wow. Marissa was right. This back is so soft. It's like, it's like Diamond Art Club soft, but not as thick. This is a pretty big. <laughs> All right, we have our drills. We'll look at those later, but they come pre-bagged. So I already like that. And I'm gonna roll this so it'll lay a little flatter. This is the other image. This isn't the one that uh, I saw on Maritza's video, but this is the other one that, this is gonna go in Bryant in my room. When I saw this, I was taken back. So, right here, you've got the Let's see, how do I explain this? Have you guys seen that? A lot of it. So if you're heavy metal fans, you've seen this before. They call them like the devil horns or what have you. Um, a little back history about that. So back in the 70s, when Ronnie James Dio was with Dio, may he rest in peace, um, he made these signs. Well, this actually is the Italian sign and I actually have a gem for it. The, the film is normally tucked in a little bit, you know, but at concerts you see people doing this. But it was very similar, so that's why I liked it. Um, and that's what it symbolizes to me. Um, and it's to protect you from the evil eye. So it's Italian, you know, superstition and everything. Uh, protect you from the Malloy, right? But I saw this. And that's what it reminded me of that. And Brian and I, well, I'm Italian, but Brian and I are huge metal fans, huge Dio fans. And if it wasn't for Ronnie James Dio, that sign would never um, happen. But I also noticed in there that there are um, a man and a woman and little hearts all around it. And that sold me right there. It's like, I didn't even care. So we have um, in the upper right and lower left there is our legend as well as a thumbnail is on both so that's cool branded at the top so spell queen unique art that sparkles this is a round and there are 18 colors in here and let me pull i'm gonna pull this plaque right it's got glittery canvas so when you see like the little lines and stuff it has nothing to do with the adhesive or the glue itself it's just the plastic that got crinkled and if it doesn't start laying flat on its own you can always 
turn it over and place um, some some books. Some people put it under the mat between the mattress and the box spring. Whatever floats your boat and works best for you. But that's already working, and you can see a little better. So let me do it from the back. Just be careful when you're pulling back the plastic because. If you do it too uh, far and you get the opposite end on it, it can, it most likely will stick and then be really problematic and potentially ruin your canvas. And I'm not very good at it, like I've said plenty of times before. I just try to go slow so no air bubbles get under it, but right there, that's already better. I'll hold it up. I'm going to try and turn this light down a little bit because it's giving me an awful glare. There we go. So I hope that's better. This is so cool. The symbols, let's take a look. The symbols look really, really clear. Really, really, really clear to me. Let me try and turn this other light off. Let me see if that will help. There we go. That is a big difference. Why didn't you guys tell me that? You're like, dang, Miranda, we can't see. Dog's licking all right. God, sorry, guys. Um, It is mostly like color blocking. Like there'll be some symbols. Some of the symbols are kind of funky, though. So I'm really going to have to take my time. And because um, I got these arrows and J's and then check marks, but the check marks are pink and sevens. So I'm just going to be really, really careful. Um, there's no weird signs, though, and nothing that's similar. So that is a positive. This is a 40 by 60. Sorry, I didn't say that beforehand. So at the bottom, they are. They say that they have a five star and satisfaction. Any problem, unsatisfied for any reason, contact us and we will help you solve it. And it has free aha damn, ah damn insurance. Diamond spill accidents happen. You're eligible for a free replacement. And then they have their social media. So let me hold that up right for you guys. All right. So, um, I only paid, um, I didn't pay shipping and it was 15, $15 a piece for these canvases. Um, from I, when I scrolled through Spell Queen, I did not see any stolen images or what I would know to be. Everything that I saw was public, was a public domain image. So that was good. And that's something I look for. Um, I'm not trying to tell you what to do or how you spend your money and you do you and I, I support you. I'm just saying for me, um, I make sure that I do not purchase anything that um, could be or is a stolen image. That's just me, but I'm not going to tell you guys, you know, what you should do. So um, this one doesn't have a name. But let me hold it up again for you guys so you can get a, a better look. I love all the little hearts. It's just so sweet. And I really cannot wait to work on this one. I'm going to have to fit this in my rotation. Um, I'm just like really excited. It's just like a statement piece to me. I don't know. I just I just love it. So let's look at these drills right quick. I'll flip this over. God, this canvas is so soft. It's got the um, seared edges and um, scalped. So when it's um, seared like that with the sewing and scalloped, then you don't have to worry about your canvas fraying. So I really, really like that also. So we have 18 colors. Um, they're both, these are mostly, um, hold on guys. Okay, I'm back. I am so sorry about that. Um, Zeus is over there licking and scratching. So I had to stop and give him his allergy pill. And of course they wanted their cookies. So I had to give them their, their cookies. So they would leave me alone. No one mama trying to do a video. All right. Anyway, back to the drills. So pre-bagged. I love it. I just put it right in my little holder and I can go to town. Me personally, I like the bag. So thank you, Spell Queen, for 
saving me a step. Now on the back, it is, there's a lot of uh, taupes and browns, um, some black and stuff, but then there's pinks and this bright orange and some red and um, uh, more like another, like a, I thought this look, looks like a 210. Let's look to see what it is. Cause it doesn't come with an inventory sheet. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I can count it myself or whatnot, but um, there is no 310 in here. So there's 938. So there's 151, 152, so, and then a 223. So there's lots of pinks and taupes. There is a mint green, it looks like in here. We'll see, but purple. I'm not gonna take them out because I am absolutely horrible about getting them back in. And you guys should be able to see the colors right here. So that orange is right there. We've got another type of a uh, little darker orange and pinks. And we got our red and, and more pink over here. All right. I'm excited. I am very excited about this. So let's put this to the side. And let's look at canvas number two. Now this is the one that I saw on Maritza's channel. This little bag a little tight. I'm saving this bag. The other one, I don't know if I'm going to save, but... All right. Oh, goodness, this is a big one. Consistency, pre bag drill. So let's roll this one, pour glue. Same soft back. This one's long, like landscape typey long. I want to say this is a 40 by 80 or 30 by 80, but we'll see when we turn it over. I love how I love this canvas. I guess I should roll it around to you guys this way. I'm going to be looking at it upside down. Look at this. This beautiful, beautiful canvas. I can't, it doesn't even fit all the way in the thing, in the frame. Brooklyn Bridge at, it looks like at dusk. Could be a sunrise, but to me, with the, the, the dark, the blues and the pinks, to me, it looks like dusk. But I guess we'll have to see. The street lights are still on. That beautiful Brooklyn Bridge right there. Love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. This is a, I was close. It's a 75 by 30. That's kind of odd, but um, we're gonna pull back this plastic a little bit. I kind of feel bad for my family back east though because I think they just got some snow. One of my friends from high school he lives in Saratoga Springs, which is upstate, because my, my parents, well, I'm from upstate. Um, two, I'm, li I'm from uh, near Albany, which is about two hours north of Manhattan. So I guess it just depends. If you're driving, I can get there in about two hours, two and a half hours. But if I take the, tr the bus, it takes like three. Take the train, it takes about two and a half. So let's... Uh, Ah, that's a lot better. Let's do the other side right quick. Yeah, and I can't believe, can you guys believe these were only $15 a piece for these big paintings? The drill field is, I'm telling you, is clear. Let me hold it up without this plastic on. Well, hopefully the glue, wash the glue will make it too, no, the glue, <sighs> glue make it too shiny. And it's not everywhere, it's like even. Like, so that's nice. These symbols are so clear. And yet at the bottom, I'll show you, this has got a nice blend. You know what, I'm gonna stop talking until I get this cover on. So anything, so you know, I'll be watching Maritza to see if she puts anything New York up because she also was the one that told me about the crafties one of the Brooklyn Bridge. And um, if you didn't, guys didn't see that video, then I'll go ahead and post it up in the eye for you. But um, let me put this up close without the glare, hopefully. Can you guys see how clear that drill field is? It's crystal clear. But then I'll show you. So you see that color blocking right there, but I'm gonna bring it to a spot where there, and it's not too crazy. Like it's not like, Put Miranda in a nut house crazy. It's only like a little bit of confetti right there, if you guys can see.
I just, like, I'm not into landscapes, but if it's, I'm telling you, anything New York, I'm telling you, it's, it's on. I'm good. I have to get it. All right. Hopefully you guys saw all that. These are, I really like these canvases. This is nice. This is nice. All right. Let me flip it over and then we're going to take a look at these drills. Oh, I didn't, I don't, I didn't even tell you guys. All right. This one has 29 colors and this has got a mixture of symbols and letters and if like one number, two numbers, two numbers. So it doesn't have no crazy symbols. Um, the craziest looking one is like one that looks like an anchor. But other than that, it's your standard letters and basic symbols, question marks like you're used to seeing. Oh my goodness. I didn't check. Let's see how sticky this canvas is. I didn't check to see how the other one was, but yeah, that's, that sure is sticky. That's nice. That is nice. What's that? No, oh, that's on the top. All right, let's flip it over and take a look at the drills. All right. So again, pre-bagged, consistent. I like that they, um, you know, you can always see what the bottom number is. So if you have all your drills, then you'll know how many just by looking at the drills. Um, there's no DMC codes on the bags. I forgot to say that, but there is DMC codes on the canvas. So I'm cool with that. So here we have tons of colors. We have purple and browns and yellows and orange and pink and that the periwinkle is like one of my favorites. And then the darker color, and probably it's probably 310 or either 939. We'll go back and look. And then a whole bunch of different shades of pinks and then a maroon. And then we got that yellow, big, like bright, bright yellow right there. Well, more of a mustardy yellow, but it's probably it's probably for the street lights and stuff. Um, I am first impression. Come on, is really good. Spell queen. I'm excited. I am excited. So let's see. Is that 310 or 939? What do you guys think? Is 310 and 938, which I'm pretty sure 938 is like a green, I think. But the, there is 310. And the 310 symbol is a dollar sign. I always like when they make it the dollar sign. It's nice to, it's easy to see. But um, yeah, symbols are clear and there's nothing um, confusing. And on the super, super dark um, spots, there is white lettering. The brown, it's got black, but I, it's clearly visible at what symbol that is. And then on the lighter colors, it's all black. So I love when the companies do that. I'm really excited about that. All right, you guys. So we have our new our Brooklyn Bridge landscape. And then we have our, what should we call this one? This one does not have a title. The other one was Brooklyn Bridge landscape. That's what we're going to call that. But what should we call this? Drop me a comment. Let me know what we should call this. We got my, I call my, it's not of Ronnie James Dio, so I don't want to call it my Ronnie James Dio kit, but um, I don't know. If you guys come up with something and I like it, well then that'll be the title for it. So definitely drop me a comment. I am so, so excited about this. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope that you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. And you're staying safe and always remember to be kind. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.